All right, we get... Huh? No. Would you like me to crack some of these and send them again? No. I'm so confused. Look at that. Wait, what? That might be one we have to crack out, guys. I'm being dead serious. I don't think I, I sent this off with that in that corner. I recently sent 100 cars to PSA to get graded, and after weeks of waiting, they are finally back. So today, we are going to be checking out all of the grades in this return, so let's get into it. So here we go, guys, a massive PSA return. I actually have another one coming very soon, so if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, we have so many cars to go through today, and this is just a random mix of cars from modern to vintage, from the latest sets to even vintage cars that I think are from like the year 2008. But make sure you stick around throughout the whole video because I'm going to be giving away one of these slabs in today's video to one of you guys all you have to do is like the video subscribe hit that bell notification and comment down below your favorite card in today's return all right let's get straight into it today guys the first card i'm just going to move the pile to the right here so we can have a bit of space and i'll zoom out a little bit as well to be fair um the first card let's see what we have up for grabs we have oh the secret rare pikachu from Crown Zen. If you guys actually love this, I put this video in my recent $250,000 PSA investment video and you guys in the comment section love this card the most. It was crazy. The artwork is sublime. So let's see what the return is. We get a PSA 10. Let's go. That is a great way to start it off. Very, very happy with that. All right, moving on to the next one. Oh, we have a 2008 Mewtwo LVX. I love this card. Now, I know this isn't in the best condition. This one I just wanted for my personal collection because look at the artwork on that. That is absolutely insane. And it got a PSA 7. Like I said, if you look at the back, it isn't perfect. I've had this for a while, but I just wanted to get it graded because I, I just love Mewtwo. It's my third favorite Pokemon, and I just wanted that in a PSA case. But anyway, moving on, we have Mewtwo and Mew, uh, my second and third favorite Pokemon tag team from the one and only Unified Mindset. A really, really cool set. In a PSA 9, not too bad. Okay, not too bad so far. Right, let's see what we have next. We have some more tag team cards. We have a Solgaleo and Lunana um, GX from Cosmic Eclipse. In a PSA 9, okay. That's not too bad. I mean, that looks real good in my opinion. Look at the centering on that. And the condition's really good too. So I genuinely thought that one could have got a 10, but okay, a, a nine's not too bad. We have a, a Pikachu Secret Rare again from Crown Zenith. Another PSA 10. Let's go. I love that card. Really, really love that card. Oh, okay. We have an Ancient Mew from the year 2000. Look at this incredible card right there. Now this was my, my mintiest one I owned, so I thought I'd get it graded and see if we can get a 10. I've got a few nines in the past. Huh? Wait, what? Five? Oh my goodness, what? How is that a five? Look at that, wait, what? Can you see that crease in the bottom corner? That's, that's not even a crease. That is literally, I'm being dead serious. I don't think I, I sent this off with that in that corner. That is almost kind of like a, like, like something's rolled on it. What the heck? I mean, okay, this was like my mintiest one. I, I, I would have noticed that before sending that off to get graded. That is interesting, but okay. PSA five. Uh, there is always one in my in my return videos that is a bad grade. I'm surprised it wasn't a four to be honest. But moving on to the next card, we have Greninja and Zoroark tag team GX. In a PSA 9, uh, do you know, again, like, look at the back on that. That looks real good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Some of these cards, I thought they would get 10s, to be fair. All right, we got Muck and Alolan Muck from Unbroken Bonds, the full art. PSA 10, very nice. Yeah, that, see, I mean, I don't know what, that. that's the 9. I mean, there isn't that much difference in it, if I'm being totally honest. There is no dings on the corner of that. Okay, so we have a 10 from that one, very nice. Let's see what we get next. We have the Mars Shadow and uh, Machamp GX from Unbroken Bonds. PSA 10 again, very nice. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. I'm, I like to think that I've got like quite a good eye. Okay, up next, we have a 2006 EX Heracross Hollow from Dragon Frontiers. This is a real nice card right here. Look at that. Foil on that is sick. In a PSA 7, okay. Uh, do you know what? I mean, as PSA 7s go, that looks pretty good on the back. Maybe there was some scratches on the f surface that I didn't notice. Quite hard to see when it's encapsulated. All right, up next, we have an Astral Radiance Full Art. The Waifus, you know everyone loves the Waifus. We got the Arena um, from Astral Radiance in a PSA 10. Very happy with that one. And guys, if there's any of these cards that you like, um, I will be looking to like kind of sell some of these because uh, I don't need all of them. So feel free to drop me a DM or an email. My email's in the description or follow me on Instagram at Pokedean underscore. Uh, we have these, the Rainbow Rare, Sylveon and Gardevoir Tag Team GX in a PSA 9. We have 
the Lucario and Mel Metal GX from Unbroken Unbro Bonds, the Full Art in a PSA 10. I'm really loving these tag teams and it's nice to see some of these in uh, intense. I actually have some all art tag teams throughout this video, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled out for that. We have the trio from Cosmic Eclipse in a PSA 10 as well. Love that card right there. Three of the Pokemon on one card. Oh, we have a classic collection, uh, Venusaur from uh, Celebrations in a PSA 9. I mean, whoever graded these was was having a bad day by the looks of it. Okay, up next we have the Metal Pikachu from the Ultra Premium Collections, uh, from Celebration, sorry, in a PSA 9. Okay, this I'll actually take because these are really hard to get in a 10 because they just literally were chucked in the uh, the box. So not too upset about that one. Okay, we have another one from my second UPC that I was able to get my hands on. In a 7. Okay, that one's a little bit more what I was expecting because some of these are just chipped. So we get a PSA 7 in that one. Ooh, Boss's Orders from Rebel Clash. Giovanni. Let's see what we get. We get a PSA 9. Okay, not too bad. Moving on to the next one. Ooh, top 5 card from Celebrations for me. Birthday Pikachu. In a PSA 9, I think this is a gorgeous card. This is like the perfect birthday present in my opinion. Moving on to the next one. We have another one. Come on, please. Let's get one in a 10. Yes, there we go. Okay, I submitted to 19110. I'm happy with that. Oh, we get the trio birds from Hidden Fates, the rainbow rare. In a PSA 10, very happy about that one. All right, oh, Charizard V-Star. Now, this is for my personal collection. I'm trying to get as many Charizards as possible. This is from Crown Zenith. In a PSA 10 as well, happy with that one. Let's go, very happy. Another one into the personal collection right there. We get the Reshiram GX Shiny from Hidden Fates. In a PSA 10. Okay, we're actually starting to get a few 10s in a row now. That's good. Oh, Alakazam EX Secret Ray. I love this card. I know Randolph loves, loves this card too. You've got the Umbreon there. You've got the Lugia in the background too. In a PSA 8. Okay, not... Oh, there is a bit of a ding in that corner. Can you see top left? Okay, that's kind of understandable. I don't know if I have one higher than an 8. I have one. I can't remember if that was in an 8 or a 7. Okay, moving on. We have the Venusaur uh, tag team card right here from Cosmic Eclipse. In a PSA 9. Uh, okay, I guess. Yeah, the centering is a little bit off on the back there, to be fair. I'll, I'll give him that one. We have the Umbreon VMAX from Evolving Skies. Looking at the front, the centering looks pretty balanced. The back, that looks good as well, to be fair. No dings. The centering looks pretty much perfect. All right, we get... Ah? Uh? No. What? How was that an eight? <laughs> How was that an eight? How is that one an eight? Look at the back on this. No way. Guys, would you like me to crack some of these and send them again and see if they come back a different grade? It will be very interesting to see. Whoever graded this was having a bad day. How is that one an eight? I mean, nine, I would go even nine odd question, but it's like a bit more understandable. Wow. Okay. Moving on, we get boss's orders again from a Rebel Clash. We got one in a nine. There we go. We managed to get one in 10. We'll take it. All right, on to the next pile. All right, we're on to the next pile now. Let's see what we can get in this one. Oh, we have the Pikachu from Crown Zenith, the full art. Let's see what we get in this one. An eight again. What? Wait, what? I mean, the centering's a little bit off. It's a bit thinner on the left, but an eight? Really? Right, eight for the Pikachu from Crown Zenith. I sent a few of these, I think. So let's see what we get in this one. An eight again. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, this isn't going as well as I thought it would be. We had a good run of 10s, and now we've got two 8s in a row. Right, let's see if we can get this one in a 10. Three, oh, guys, I've got three 8s. I've got three 8s. I'm going to give one of these away to one of you guys. Uh, so, someone can share the 8s with me. So, guys, like I said, all you got to do is hit that like button, hit, uh, comment your favorite card in today's video, and make sure to subscribe as well. We got Skeledurg EX from Powder Evolved. I love this card. The artwork on this is sick. In an eight again. Wait, did this, could this person only count up to eight? I'm confused. How is this, how is this one an eight? What? I'm so confused. How? Surely a nine, if anything, but what's wrong with this card, guys? But guys, like I said, let me know if you want me to crack some of these out and resubmit them to PSA and see if they can come back as a different grade. That'll be a new video. So if you want to see it, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, next up, we have another one. We got Skeledurg in a PSA 9 this time. That's a bit better. We got 1.8 and 1.9. All right, let's see what we got. Japanese next. Oh, we got the Pokey Chloe, Pokey Dean Pika from uh, Pokemon 151 in Japanese in a 9. Let's see what we get next. We got another one. Here we go. In a 10 this time. All right, we got 1.9, 1.10. We'll take it. We got another Japanese card. I think these are some 151 cards now. We got the War Turtle in a PSA 10. I'll take that one. Love that card from Arita. All right, next up. Oh, please. Please, please be in a PSA 10. We get the Blastoise SAR in a PSA 10. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, look at the centering on that. That is thinner than that 
Is it thinner? It looks a bit thinner than this side. I don't know, man. Okay, I'm not complaining. It's a 10. All right, we have uh, Ivy Saw this time in a PSA 10 as well. All right, the 10s are back, people. This is what we were hoping to see. We have the Giovanni's Charisma in a PSA 10. Very nice. Japanese tends to be a little bit easier to get 10s in because they're just much better quality. We've got the Charizard EX in a PSA 10. Very, very nice. Continuing on, we've got the Charmander this time, AR. In the PSA 10, oh, 151 is doing well for me right now. We've had 1-9. We've got the Charmeleon AR as well. In a PSA 10. I really wish I pulled the SAR from that set in Japanese. That would have been really cool. All right, we have the Crown Zenith Entei Full Art. And off the bat, that side there is definitely thicker than this right side here. <laughs> okay. 10. I mean, I'll take it, but uh, I'm, some of these grades are confusing me right now. I'm going to be so honest. All right, we've got the Gardevoir EX from uh, Scarlet and Violet Base. Beautiful, beautiful card. Centering. I mean, the centering's better than the, the um, Entei I just had. Let's have a look on the back. Yeah, way better. All right, let's see what this got. I. What? How? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, I'm so confused. Gardevoir EX got an 8. Okay. Right. Celebi Alt Art from Fusion Strike. No way. An 8 again? Guys, comment. Do, do you think these look like 8s? I mean, that's one. That's that's even worse than... Not worse, but that's like surely 9. Do you know what I mean? All right. Celebi V again in a 9. There we go. That one's better than the 8. I can't... I, I, what makes it an 8? I'm so confused. These are like pack fresh all right we got the daisy's help or Daisy's uh, daisy's assistant sorry in a psa 10 from 151 all right next up oh we got the pikachu um promo from the powder Day evolved etb in an eight <laughs> okay let's see what we get next oh we got an i actually submitted a few of these so hopefully we can get better than an eight no way another eight okay i mean fair enough so we get next we got the pokemon center with the stamp here now, nah, this person, whoever graded it, their favorite number is eight. I'm almost convinced. All right, here we go. Next one. Another Pokemon Center. <laughs> in an, uh, I can't believe there are so many eights in this submission. This is crazy. All right, we got a new pile. Let's continue on with the eights. <laughs> I say that. We actually probably might. All right, we got the Tyranitar from Powder Air Evolve. This is the uh, illustration rare. Centering on this looks good. Here's the back. I mean, if we're being hypercritical, a little bit thinner on this side compared to right, but like not massively. If I'm I'm going to downplay it and say it's a nine. What makes this an eight? I'm so confused. It's, there's no dings on this corner or, or anything. There's no whitening. The centering's good on the front. Okay, right. Anyway, let's see. We have another one, a Tyranitar. Nah, this is a, this is, this is, what is going on? Another eight. How are these eights? Guys, g give me your opinion in the chat. I actually would love to hear what you guys think about after you looking at these cards as well. All right, we've got the Magic Carp. I mean, obviously everyone wants to get tens and I'm the first to admit if it is or like if it's not worth a 10. Even when I get tens, I say, do you know what? That's off-centered. But look, Magic Carp, the centering on that is real good. I mean, look at it. That's so good. Okay, the back again is a little bit thinner on this side, but not to the point where I say it's massively, but I would understand if this is a nine. <laughs> How is that an eight? This is the, these are the best looking eights you'll ever see, guys. These are the best looking eights. All right, we've got another one from Powder Evolved. I love this magic art, by the way. Once again, the centering's really good. Thinner on this side, I'd actually say. Similar back to the one before. And an, an eight again. All right, we got a celebrations in a nine. But some of these eights, guys, I'm a little bit confused. We got the Blastoise this time in a PSA 10. Very happy with that one. Oh, okay, we're moving on to some team up cards I've submitted now. Um, this was from a master set I had. This is Whale Lord and uh, a Magic Carp and Whale Lord. My opinion, centering on that is perfect. Let's have a close look at this one. Centering is perfect on that. No dings in the corners or any whitening. PSA 9. I, I genuinely thought that that one was going to get a 10. Like I remember looking at this clearly. PSA 9. Guys, what is wrong with the back of that card? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Right, okay. We got the Pikachu and Zekrom this time. Let's have a look on the back on this. The centering on this one is worse than the Whale Lord. Okay, look. This, this left side is thinner. So this has to be a 9 as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> PSA 10. 
<laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, how was the Whale Lord one not a 10? All right, Gengar and Mimikyu, Rainbow Rare in a nine. So we get next, Latios and Latias in a nine. A little bit off center to be fair, so I can understand that one. I can understand that one. Let's go. Okay, we got the Full Arts now in a nine again. All right, we got the Celebi and Venusaur from Team Up Full Art in a nine. We're just gonna get through these now. We got the Pikachu and Zekrom GX Full Art in a 10. So the Rainbow and the Full Art both got 10s. We'll take that, it's very cool. Okay, we got the Snorlax and Eevee in a nine. Moving on, we got the Gengar and Mimikyu in a nine. Oh, big card, big card. Okay, we got the Latios, or well, Latias and Latios alt art this in a psa 10 is like two thousand like dollars centering let's take a closer look at this one centering's good okay in the bottom corner the bottom left and right two white little dings okay and this corner here but very minimal other than that so i'm gonna say nine an eight guys do i crack these out and resubmit them and see if see if they come back a different grade i'm so intrigued now i'm so intrigued Okay, oh, Magic Art, Whale Lord, Alt Art. Let's look at this one. Again, there is no dings on this at all. Centering is good. I wouldn't say it's perfect. I'd say the top's a little bit thicker than the bottom, but minimal. I've seen worse. You've seen tens that I've got today that have been more off centered than this. A nine. Really? The front looks really good too. Interesting. Right, we have the Gengar and Mimikyu. I love this artwork, by the way. Look at that. It's so, so nice. In a nine. Okay, that one's more off-centered. Like, look at the top and bottom. They That's vis like visibly a difference. I kind of understand that one. Pikachu and Zekrom. I love the artwork on this. This is from a tin. In an eight. I don't know I actually mark something down as an eight. I'll be really honest. All right, we've got the Evelyn. Love this card. From Team Up as well. In a nine. All right, moving on. We have a tag team full art trainer from Cosmic Eclipse. Mallow and Lana. In a nine off centered so okay i'll accept that one all right we're on one more pile let's see if we can end on a bang and guys i have another psa return coming um hopefully in the next month or two if you want to see it hit that like button comment down below that you want to see it i do love these psa return videos and if you guys want to see more i will definitely post more all right we got the origin form palkia v star from crown zenith in a psa 10 that's what i like to see okay yeah that is definitely a 10 right cool all right moving on we get a raichu i actually pulled this in a recent video um this is from storefront the hollow an eight. Okay, there's a there's a nick in that right corner, but that is literally it. I would say that's a nine personally, but okay. We have the Mewtwo EX. I submitted a few Mewtwo's. Uh, this is from Breakthrough in a PSA eight. A mark in that corner. All right, we got the Mewtwo EX from the Triple Power Tin. I love this card. Really, really nice. In a PSA 10. Look how gorgeous that card is. 2016. That's a beautiful, beautiful card right there. Very happy to add that to my Mewtwo collection. We've got the Mewtwo EX from Celebration. Oh, no, sorry. This is, yeah, Celebration, sorry. Mewtwo EX in a 10. All right, we've got the Umbreon from Celebrations. This would look really, oh, it's a 9. Okay. All right, next up, let's see what we get. We get the Zinnia's Resolve from Evolving Skies, Full Art Trainer. In a PSA 10. We're doing well with the trainers. We're doing well with the female trainers. Oh, Mew EX from Celebrations. Come on, let's get a 10 in this. Yes, we do. Very nice. Okay, moving on. We have the Celebrations Mew. It's probably one of my favorite Mew cards. Definitely top five. In an eight. What marks that down? What marks it down to an eight? That might be one we have to crack out, guys. Let me know. Look at have a look at that. Tell me what's wrong with that. Centering looks good. There's a white mark, like tiny, tiny nick, but that's on the top of the card. So if anything, that's a nine. I don't know why it's an eight. All right, we've got the Mew VMAX in an eight again. Now, nah, like I said, whoever graded these, they were having a bad day. They must have been. We have the Arceus in an eight. There's too many eights. There's too many eights. We got the Miriam from Scarlet and Violet Base in an eight. Is that eight worthy? You guys let me know. All right, we get the Miriam again. In an eight. <laughs> How has this happened? How has this happened? All right, let's see what we've got. We've got the Iono in a PSA nine. Okay, so we do one better than the Miriams. All right, let's see. we got another one in a nine again. So two nines. We've got the Miriam Full Art from Scarlet and Violet Base in an eight. All right, we got the Maridon EX. I love this card. It's probably my favorite card from the set. It, in an eight. Okay. We're getting a lot of eights in today's return, guys. We get another Maridon EX in an eight. Wow, what? What is wrong with them? Pause the video if you need to, guys. Give me your honest opinions. Maybe am I being too like biased? Who knows? Let me know. Or is this a? Is it too much of a coincidence? Look how many eights we're getting. Get the Arcanine EX from Scarlet and Violet Base in an eight. We keep going. 
I think I submitted a few of these. We've got the Arcanine EX again in an eight. Are these eight worthy? These are, like I said, these are the best eights you'll ever see in your life. Gyarados EX. Oh, I really want to get one of these in a 10. I love this card. This looks sick. But I'm not getting in that one. That's an eight. All right, what do we get next? Another eight. <laughs> Third time's the charm. <laughs> three eights. I literally have got three eights. Okay, let's keep it going. We've got the Pikachu again from the ETB. Let's see what this one gets back. I love this card. In an eight. Yeah, the, the whoever graded these is having a terrible day. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Let me know. Maybe uh, am I wrong or, or do I have a valid point here? And would you like me to crack some of these out? and submit them again and maybe they might come back nines maybe they come back sevens they might even come back tens let me know if you guys want to see it right here we go pikachu again from the etb let's have a look centering's really good actually thinner on the left so i'll probably say nine for this one. Oh no this is yeah okay this is definitely off center so it's definitely not getting a 10 and there we go that sums up this video guys if you have enjoyed it hit that like button make sure to subscribe and i'll see you next time